Hello again YouTube. Just a quick video showing the controller for Pico Z modified to run off a mains charger. It's a standard generic off the shelf little, I think it was 3 99 I paid for it. Um, gives it up to 300 milliamps which is just about enough given the fact the cells charge at around 100 milliamp. I've got a set of 7.5 volts rather than 9 because these cheap unregulated power supplies tend to give up more power than they're rated at when uh, not much current's being drawn. So you have standard Pico Z controller. You can see the cable's coming out of uh, where the IR beacon usually stands. That's because this model of uh, well, this controller took apart and salvaged the IR LEDs for um, another project that had nothing to do with Pico Z's, but uh, it was a quick and easy source of LEDs. So, the, um, so this heli here is completely dead. Yep. Got the normal controller here. Let's give him some stick. He's dead. So what I do now is plug the adapter into the wall socket. And the controller is now powered up. Doesn't matter what channel it's selected to because we're not using the transmitter on this old controller. Uh, of course, I will be doing a mod later on which shows. Uh, a removable DC barrel plug and socket so that you can use the transformer or the batteries the way this one's currently wired up you can only use the transformer and as there's no IR beacon you can't use it to fly anyway and there's the heli on charge it's now 3.32 let's come back to it in a half hour we'll power it up and I'll show you what I've done inside the controller ok so now charge is complete and you can see the charge light's gone off. I'm flip this around. Pull it open. Body and screws make the uh, video a little short. It's not sat there watching me fiddle around with screws. Um, now I've taken mine through the hole where the IR beacon usually sits. Because I've removed that. So I need the LED for something else. Um, if you wanted to make a permanent mod so you don't use batteries again, just pop a little hole in the casing. Feed your wire through. I recommend you tie the wire around the screw post. That way if the cable gets pulled it wouldn't put any stress in your contact. Now, uh, I just quickly throw this together as a demonstration. I haven't soldered the wires, but uh, it is recommended that you do that. But if you haven't got a soldering iron, you can twist it really well, cover it with insulating tape. That's the negative on the negative terminal. Positive to the positive battery terminal. There he stands. So now, let's just the heli on. So that old controller with the IRB can missing, that is just a controller. <laughs> Hang on, babe. And power it up. There you go. That's a simple adapter mod for the Pico Z. I'll be doing a full mod with removable barrel plug and capacitor shortly. Stay tuned.